because it is a relative of rice, uh, it was basically impossible to develop a conventional herbicide that would kill red rice without harming the commercial crop. After radiating and mutating tens of thousands of rice seeds, researchers at the rice station discovered something dramatic. It was the world's first herbicide-resistant variety, a kind of anti-red rice innovation that cleared out the weeds. They called it Clearfield, and it has revolutionized rice production. We can now actually plant a rice field, spray a herbicide, and kill weedy red rice. This probably kept us in business again because red rice was about to wipe out uh, rice production in southwest Louisiana. Brucellosis is a disease of cattle that uh, causes late-term abortion. And so from an economic standpoint, it's, it can be very devastating in, in a herd. The current vaccine that's used in the United States is RB51. And this is the first place where we actually use the vaccine in cattle here at LSU. And it worked. And it is now the vaccine, the official USDA vaccine for brucellosis in the U.S. Some koi pond enthusiasts had added the giant salvinia plant from South America to their aquatic gardens. When they threw the plant into Louisiana streams and ditches, they had no idea they were releasing an invasive monster. It increases its coverage of a water body. Uh, it doubles every day and a half. A thick vegetative mat sucks up oxygen and blocks out light, killing plants below, forcing fish to leave, and clogging boat motors. Herbicides tested by the Ag Center were effective, but too costly. So researchers recruited a tiny weapon from South America, the Salvinia weevil. Its favorite feast is giant Salvinia. Armies of these tiny weevils, which pose no threat to crops or the ecosystem, have been successful in controlling giant Salvinia, particularly in southern Louisiana. Ching Lin Wu is a wood scientist. Some of his research involved using waste wood and discarded water bottles and oil cans to create sturdy wood panel composites. Tom and Joanne Parker worked in the oil industry. They wondered whether Wu's technology could help seal costly leaks that cause drilling mud to escape. Wu helped develop a cost-effective solution to the problem, tiger bullets. We tested uh, both in the lab and in the oil field in the last few years, and uh, it works great. The patented invention has already been used successfully on hundreds of oil wells in the U.S. It has also jump-started manufacturing businesses in Louisiana. We have become a national leader in developing proprietary technologies that we have licensed out to major companies. Within the state of Louisiana, we are by far the most successful organization at developing and deploying our inventions. A variety of innovative research successes have also spawned new cutting-edge biomedical companies. Ag Center researcher Richard Cooper was the first in the world to effectively insert disease-resistant genes into disease-prone catfish. That technology also held potential for helping people. And I was approached by a company out of Bozeman, Montana that wanted me to apply the technology to make transgenic chickens that would express human pharmaceutical proteins in the whites of their eggs. The company, Transgenerex, relocated to the LSU Emerging Science and Technology Building, and Cooper successfully produced human proteins in chicken eggs. Since then, Cooper's team has developed a newer transgenic production system with multiple applications. Already, the protein-based system has been used to develop drugs that can treat cancer or stimulate red blood cell growth for dialysis patients. It also has the potential for use in vaccines and gene therapy. In 1999, researchers from the LSU Ag Center and the Pennington Biomedical Research Center developed an amazing technology for fighting cancer. Their new Uh, that a number of tumors 
in very important tumors, uh, mammary tumors, breast cancer, ovarian cancers, prostatic cancers, all express hormone-based receptors that signal these cancer cells to do things. We were able then to use our compound, which basically targets such a receptor, which selectively kills the targeted cell. Unlike chemotherapy, these compounds seek and destroy only cancer cells without harming normal cells. This new technology was the basis for a startup biotech company, which has already begun human trials with new drugs.